Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. We're working with rebooting our digestive system in today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya. It's known as the Healthy Bowel System and it works on releasing any toxins, any old residues that we're carrying in our intestines that are definitely not serving us or nourishing us on a physical level. And it's very interesting to see in these physical careers, how that manifests for us on a psychic and an emotional level as we release the physical stuff that is no longer hold, uh, is no longer nourishing us, so too we release the stuff that is not emotionally supportive of us as well. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good vigorous rub and bring your prayer mudra into the heart center. Take a deep inhale as you stretch tall through the spine. Hold that length in the spine as you exhale, relax the shoulders away from the ears, eyes are closed. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale to draw the chin in towards the neck. Let's take a deep inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in until you get the hang of them. Om Namo. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice, keeping you safe from injury and keeping the space that you're practicing in clear and protected. Exhale, relax the hands down to the knees in Gyan Mudra. So you're touching tips of index fingers to tips of thumbs and just allowing those mantras to settle in the body, in the mind to bring you into presence for your kundalini yoga. We're gonna start with a lovely warm up through the intestines, through the bowel with a Sufi grind. So holding onto the knees, we're gonna inhale the heart forward and around, exhale back and around with a nice full rotation through the spine. The eyes close, roll up and into the third eye point and we move and breathe as deep as we can. Now to increase this massage on the bowel, we're gonna keep the navel pulling in. This has the double benefit of supporting the lower back. So particularly important if you suffer with lower back pain. Keeping the eyes trained up to the center of the brow at the third eye point. And you're taking your own pace. If this feels just a little bit too fast for you, slow it down. As long as you're synchronizing breath with movement and you're taking this really nice and deep through the spine, keeping that navel strong to intensify the massage on the digestive system. On the next inhale, when the heart comes forward, we'll change direction. Keep that breath deep, that movement deep as you inhale forward and around, exhale back and around. Opening up all 26 vertebrae in every direction, opening up the physical spine as well as the chakra system.
Good, moving as generously as you can through the spine. Keeping those eyes locked into the Arjunya, keeping the navel strong. Coming up to the center with a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more buns. So you're pulling up with the anus and sex organs, you're pulling in with the navel and you're feeling, sensing, imagining that energy driving from the tip of the tailbone up through the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, stretch up tall through the spine. And exhale, relax, release, turn the palms up, touch index fingers to thumbs in Gya Mudra and stay present. Sufi grind has a lovely activation, not only through the physical body, but also through the chakra system, the energy system of the body. Just staying present and feeling that. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. Good, we'll turn our palms over once more. We're inhaling up to the center, exhaling forehead over to the one knee, inhaling up to the center, exhaling forehead to the other knee. Doesn't matter if the forehead doesn't come all the way down, just this bowing motion to each side with the breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. Again, you want to keep your navel strong, keep the belly pulling in to intensify this massage on the internal organs. Keep the eyes rolled up and into third eye point. And we want to stay with this lovely rhythm here, hypnotizing the ego mind, hypnotizing that often quite unhelpful chattering mind that many of us have accompanying us throughout the day. And this enables us to move beyond it for our yoga practice. Inhaling up to the center. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more bun. So you're pulling up with the pelvic floor, you're pulling in with the navel, you're driving that energy up to the crown of the head. Hold, squeeze, lift. And exhale, relax, release. Turn the palms up, Gya Mudra. Once more, just settling into the afterglow of that pranayam, that breath, that movement, and that lovely stabilizing rhythm. Feel the effects of it in the body, in the mind. Balancing, clearing, purifying and awakening. Inhale deep. Exhale fully as you drop your chin to your chest. Open the eyes to gaze softly down at the lap and we'll come all the way up to standing. So this Kundalini Yoga Kriya is unique because it's done mainly standing up. We've got our arms out to the side and we're going to start with our right hand coming all the way down to the left foot or shin or knee, whatever you can get to. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down, just to the one side this time. If you can close your eyes and keep your balance, do so. Otherwise, keep your eyes very slightly open. Again, take your own pace. Inhale up. And we're going to change sides. So uh, left hand to right side. Inhaling up. 
exhaling down just wherever you can reach. Again, the belly pulls in, the eyes stay at third eye. And if you have a tendency to overextend on your knees, keep a micro bend in the knees. Inhale up. And exhale, relax the arms down. Just settle here for a moment, stabilizing in the feet. Feel the body anchored to the earth. Feel balanced between all four corners of each foot. Inhale deep. Exhale free. Good. Now we're going to inhale the arms up once more. And we're going to exhale uh, right hand to left foot, shin or knee. And we're going to hold this for two, three, four, five. Inhale up, change sides. Two, three, four, five. Inhale up, alternate sides. Two, three, four, five. Inhale up, change sides. Two, three, four, five. At your own pace now. Keep your navel in, keep those knees micro bent. Eyes are closed if you can. Getting deep into the intestines. That's it, you're doing well. Lovely, squeezing out of the bowel system here. And we'll inhale up. And exhale, drop the arms again, keeping the eyes closed, stabilizing yourself in the feet. Feel that lovely anchoring through the feet into the earth. And we'll inhale up. And this time we're going to bring right hand to left uh, foot, chin or thigh. And we're gonna hold this posture, breathing long, slow and deep. Now in this posture, you need to be really careful not to be overextending on the knees. So do take a micro bend in the knee and just hold it here. Wherever you are, breathing long and slow and deep. Imagine this is wringing out the intestines, wringing out any old residues, any old toxins that no longer nourish, that no longer serve you. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And again, coming to the other side, we're just wringing out those old toxins. Again, making sure you have a micro bend in the knee, you're not overextending, you're not causing any damage to yourself. Inhaling up, and we're going to hold it for a little bit longer this time. Breathing long, slow and deep. Get that twist through the spine. Stretch that arm right up to the sky so you're opening the heart to the side of the room. Get that real lovely squeeze on the intestine. Squeeze through the abdomen. Giving the internal organs a really lovely massage here with a long, slow, deep breath. That's it. You're doing really well. Long, slow, deep breath. If you can close the eyes, close the eyes, roll them up and into third eye point. 
as we keep this sustained squeeze on the internal organs, particularly on the large intestine. And we're inhaling up. And we're exhaling down to the opposite side. Again, making sure you've got that micro bend in both knees, that you're bringing that arm up to the ceiling to really open out through the side of the body, shine the heart to the side of the room, get that squeeze and that lovely twist all the way through the spine. Hold it and squeeze. Breathing long, slow and deep as you twist up with that arm. Holding this sustained ringing out motion on the bowel. Nearly there, don't give up. and inhaling up and exhaling arms drop down drop the chin to the chest and come all the way down to the floor to lying flat on the back stretch the arms out stretch the legs out create space in your body now for that lovely fresh prana that life force energy through the breath to come into the body to come into every cell to nourish you and to carry away any toxicity, any heaviness in the body. Just relax here on the back. Allow yourself to be held by the earth. Allow yourself to surrender deeply to her support. To be heavy. And as you surrender here, so any residues of unhelpful energy are just soaked up through the earth where they're neutralized. Allow them to go. Give permission to anything that needs to go to just go now. Take a deep inhale. Exhale fully. Inhale, knees into chest. Wrapping arms around knees, give yourself a big hug and a rock from side to side. And then tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees, rock forwards and back, up and down along the spine a few times. And come all the way up to sitting. And from here, we drop the chin to the chest, opening the eyes to gaze softly down at the lap. And we come all the way up to standing once more. We have our arms extended out to the sides. Again, the feet planted firmly on the floor, slightly wider than hip width apart. We're inhaling one arm up and over, exhaling down. Inhaling the other arm up and over, exhaling down. So you're just bringing yourself into this lovely swaying motion, side bends as you're Closing the eyes if the balance will allow. Inhaling up and over, exhaling back to the original. Inhaling up and over, back to the original. Good, keep your navel in strong, remembering to intensify that massage on the uh, intestines. To also strengthen up the core, to develop Support for the lower back. Take this all the way through the side body at your own pace. If you want to slow it down, feel free. Synchronizing movement with breath. Inhale deep. Exhale fully, relax the arms down. Just taking a moment here to anchor down into the earth once more. Feel stable in all four corners of the feet. Inhale deep. 
exhale three last little ring out of the intestines now just to release any last residues again we've got our arms stretched out in front and we're inhaling twisting left exhaling twisting right helicoptering the arms inhaling left exhaling right keep the navel in keep a micro bend in the knee if you're feeling this tweaking the knee just lift your heel to allow that spiral to follow through if your balance will allow closing the eyes taking it inside That's it, spiral out any unhelpful residues here. This is our final opportunity in this Kundalini Yoga Kriya to just give ourselves a final little scrub through the intestines. Massage loose any old residues. Come back to the center, deep inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze, stretch from fingertip to fingertip. And exhale, relax the arms down, chin drops to chest, eyes open to the earth. And we come once more all the way down to lying flat on the back, this time for our Shavasana. So stretching out, extending out through the arms, through the legs. Again, giving the body real permission to surrender deeply to the earth. Again, giving the body permission to surrender whatever it's holding and allow that to fall to the earth where it's neutralized. As we relax deeply our toes and feet, our heels and ankles, relaxing and releasing our calves and shins, knees and thighs, Relaxing and releasing our buttocks and groin, pelvis and pelvic floor, relaxing and releasing the bowel. Relaxing and releasing the abdomen and belly, solar plexus, relaxing and releasing diaphragm, ribs, lungs and heart. Relaxing and releasing collarbones and shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back, relax and release into the earth. Relaxing and releasing upper arms and elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers, thumbs. Relaxing and releasing neck and throat, jaw, teeth and tongue, lips, cheeks, nose, ears and eyes. Relaxing and releasing forehead and scalp, skull and brain. Relaxing and releasing the whole of the mind, the body, the breath, allowing yourself to rest here in stillness, in silence for just another minute or so, and I will guide us out on the other side. So for now, giving yourself full permission to just be, to relax and be still soft on the earth. Gently starting to wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, circling wrists and ankles first in one direction and then in the other direction. Gently turning the head from left to right, coming back to the center. Taking a deep inhale as you stretch the arms up above the head, pointing and flexing the feet, stretch. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhaling right knee into chest, exhaling across the body to the left side. Turn the head in the opposite direction to the knee and breathe into that twist. Inhale to center, exhale down. 
Inhale, opposite knee into chest, exhale it across the body, turn the head, breathe into that twist. Inhaling to center, exhaling down. Inhaling both knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the knees, giving yourself a big hug and a rock from side to side. And then bring palms of hands together, soles of feet together, give them a good rub, bring yourself back into your body. Tucking hands into creases behind knees, rocking forwards and back, up and down along the spine a few times until you come all the way up to sitting tall in your comfortable seated position. Hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees, shoulders relaxed, heart lifts, chin tucks in. We'll bring our uh, hands to Pramudra at the heart center, where we'll close our practice with Sat Nam, truth is my name. Let's take a deep inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Bow your chin to your chest, offering your gratitude to your body, your mind, your breath for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga, sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. Sat Nam. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Yogi Gems. I hope you enjoyed today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya known as the Healthy Bowel System. If you did, please do click like and let me know how you got on in the comments. This is a great practice to drop into your daily sadhana every now and again, just to keep your digestive system in good, good form. Drink plenty of water always after every Kundalini Yoga Kriya, but particularly after this one. If you would like to see more Kriyas, please do subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you always to those who support me on coffee and on YouTube, super thanks. Biggest, biggest hugs to you. Thank you so much. Lots of love. Satnam.